So, Paul JC3 here, the Ballard YouTube, the general. Welcome to March Madness. Seeing Lonzo Ball live against Cincinnati last Sunday night. And tomorrow, Friday, UCLA will take on Kentucky in what is being made out to be, as of right now, pregame, one of the best matchups of the Sweet 16. It's Lonzo Ball in UCLA. Thomas Welsh in UCLA, that is, as he drains that jumper. Going up against De'Aaron Fox, Malik Monk, and Kentucky. Bryce Alford hits the three there, so it was good to see this matchup. This made me pick in a lot of my tournament challenge second chance brackets. UCLA to win that game, especially with Kentucky. Kentucky, their first two matchups, I think they won by nine and they won by six. And their opponents weren't anything special. UCLA beat Kent State on last Friday night and last Sunday night which is this game right here live Lonzo Ball UCLA footage they beat Cincinnati but how that happened Lonzo Ball in the first half was very passive I would say he didn't post many points he had like four or five something like that in the first half but in the second half he starts going off with the assists and everything finished with a near triple double and so you know I watch all the sports media and, you know, I hear all this about him, how he's a true point guard, how he makes teams better. And, you know, really, when you go watch someone live and to play on a stage like this, Cincinnati was no joke. They were coming off of beating K-State. They had Troy Copain at point guard, so that was a tough matchup for Lonzo Ball. That is a scrappy point guard that Cincinnati had. They put different bodies on Lonzo Ball, too, not just Troy Copain. They put different matchups on him, didn't phase him. He was still dishing out assists. UCLA was knocking down shots and there's a lot of great players on this UCLA team that help Lonzo Ball out like Alford you got Holiday on this team and then you got Welsh and TJ Leaf it was very impressive but Lonzo Ball when you watch him live you just see how he makes his teams better I mean look at the feed he's always got his head up he's always looking where you know everybody else is he always knows he has the IQ he knows when to put up shots too He's not just going out there and jacking up shots, which really is a good sign for NBA scouts because he's very efficient. You see, he sees the lane right here, and he was able to get that lane because he's been dishing so much all game. This was another assist to him right here. You'll see it up here on the Jumbotron. Just a one-hand pass, whips it over for the slam. UCLA started pulling away in this game behind Lonzo Ball. You see right here, moving without the ball. They forget about him. He has that awkward jump shot, but it doesn't matter. If it goes in, it goes in. And I was looking for LeVar Ball at these games. I was sitting real close to the UCLA, I guess, student section, fan section. Couldn't find him. But a lot of the media these days is Lonzo being overshadowed by his own father. And being real, some of the stuff he said is absolutely ridiculous. Lonzo Ball does not even compare to LeBron or Curry at this point. But... Lonzo's playing through it. He's heard it his whole life. The only thing that's different is his father's in front of the camera now, so his comments can be broadcasted to the world. Lonzo's getting more attention on him. His game is not suffering because of that attention. And he's rising to the occasion. I think he has passed Markel Fultz for that number one spot in the NBA draft. He makes his teams better. Markel Fultz could not lift Washington to the NCAA tournament. And both teams, UCLA and Washington, were in similar positions last year so after watching Lonzo Ball he really does make his team better we'll see how he does against Kentucky that will really be besides Cincinnati probably his first real test in this NCAA tournament to see how he does so hope you enjoyed remember subscribe like share this video and we'll be back with more topic tackle and basketball videos soon JC3 out